Alrighty, how's it going guys? Daybreaker Rain here coming at you through Videoscope with another episode of Mega Man 8. So I went ahead and bought some upgrades the last time um, off camera, but they are upgrades that will definitely help out. So we're going to try to get through Swordsman stage and then possibly through Searchman stage if we can manage both today in one sitting. I've actually always Ready. liked Swordman. I, I mean, the most generic name ever, but... Okay, so the upgrades that I managed to get, I got a new Buster Shot, and I also got the High Speed Charge, which is essential. This thing phew, makes it so much easier to do your Buster Shot. And the arrow buster shot to me is probably the best buster shot that's av that's available. Okay. So as you can see on the back, it's going to tell us what uh, ability we'll need. So we'll go ahead and go this way. This one I think is, yeah, it's like you have to stop uh, things from crashing down. Yeah, I think this stage is pretty, pretty neat. I, I like the idea that, like, they centered all the portion, like, most of the portions of the first part of the level around having specific abilities that you needed. I dig that, like, um, not a lot of the, uh, Mega Man games have ever really done that. Okay, so we got, we got the yellow one first. We got yellow, green, and then red. Okay, so... Oh! I did not mean to do that. Okay, so... I guess I have to go back. Okay. Oh, okay. So, yellow, green, and red. It's kind of a shame that, like, um, because I haven't played Mega Man 9 or 10, so I don't know if they try to revisit something kind of similar to this, but, um, it would be cool if they did. Okay, yeah, you don't need Tornado Hold for that first part, it's just these, these next couple parts. You actually need to do the Tornado Hold. Yeah, I think Astro Man stage, you, you kind of have to mess around with, like, Tornado Hold and stuff like that to get specific, uh, bolts. I, I said it right this time. They're bolts, not screws. <laughs> okay, so we're already went through there. Gotta do the ice. And this one's kind of cool. Because it freezes all the, uh, fire guys that you can't normally hit. Yeah, I mean, the, the, some of them are, like, they're all really easy things, but I, I still like the gimmick. Like, I think that's a really- oh my god, I didn't even realize how, like, low my health is. I'm freaking, like, dying. Rip. Okay, yeah, I think there's really no trick to this dude other than just blast the ever-living crap out of him. Oh, well, it'd be nice if I actually was paying attention and jumping right. <laughs> Ready. Okay. 
Yeah, the high speed charge definitely breaks the ever living crap out of the game. Nice if I stop getting hit by all the fireballs. And I actually tried to duck. Alrighty, cool deal. And I totally forgot, I meant to do this off screen, but I totally forgot to go gather some of the, uh, some of the screens that I would, uh, yeah, yeah, what, what's the word I'm looking for? I forgot to grab some of the freaking uh, items I needed. Uh, the bolts, I forgot to grab a couple of them. I meant to go back to some of the levels that I needed abilities for and do that, but I completely spaced. Oh, well, extra lives are always nice. As I do something stupid like that and I missed the jump. <laughs> You know, I think, in a way, like the Robot Masters and the uh, and Dr. Wily in general, I think they're a little uh, overconfident because they leave Mega Man the ability to navigate all the levels. And so it's not like he is hindered in any way where he can't get to the Robot Masters. But I guess that's like kind of like Dr. Wily's whole thing, if you really sit and think about it. He's always been very overconfident and, you know, uh, thinks that, you know, he's got all the good ideas and Mega Man won't be able to stop him. Oh, shit. Oh, I got up there. I forgot about that. Yeah, to get up here, you have to go get you a couple bolts, I think. Or maybe a bolt, I'm not sure. I thought there were two. Yeah, and it just drops you down there. Okay, so it was just a ball. Okay, so again, um, I don't have Swordsman's weakness. His weakness is Aquaman's ability. But that's alright, I've got high speed charge, so I'm just gonna blast him in the face a couple times. Nothing personal. But I've got orders. Oh, really? Come on now. Nice shot. <laughs> that was Sword Man, and now, uh, since I've got the ability, all the other bosses are just gonna be easy peasy breezy, because it'll just be super easy to take them all on with the uh, abilities. Probably, and again, probably one of my all-time favorite abilities Mega Man has ever had is Flame Sword. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take on Search Man now. 
And then from Search Man, it'll be Astro Man, and then from Astro Man, it'll be uh, Aquaman. I think it's kind of hinted that they want you to go for Swordman first, considering it, uh, like all, the, like I said, you have the gimmick of you needing all the abilities that you've pri previously acquired to get through his level. So I kind of feel it's like they probably want you to go for him first because he's probably the easiest out of the out of the three. I think one time I did um, go for Aquaman, if I remember right. I want to say that that was something I did do, um, and I think now with Flame Sword we can actually break those, or uh, torch them so they won't hurt me. Oh, okay, I hate doing this, because I think it does actually... No, it just gets you up so you don't fall. That's right. I think there is something below me, though, so... Oh, okay. That works. Yeah, there was a bolt there. You know, because that's cool when the uh, foreground gets in the way, you know? Okay, screw this. You know, I honestly don't remember getting so wrecked, obviously. <laughs> I'm getting a lot more wrecked than I typically think that I remember getting wrecked. Okay, die please. Oh, he's just gonna come back. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I think you can use Flame Sword if I remember right. Yes, you can. But it doesn't matter because I died anyway. <laughs> I hate these stupid little frog shits. I want to say there's something back the other way, if I remember right. I think you need a couple of different abilities to do it, though. But just for curiosity's sake, and since I do have some time to kill before I have to end this portion of the playthrough. Or... Because I think you have to do some crazy crap with freaking uh, Thunderclaw. Yeah, yeah, you have to do some crazy, uh, freaky-deaky stuff with Thunderclaw. And I think it gets you a bolt, if I remember right. Yeah, something I do not have the patience for right now. So we'll just go ahead and go to the next part of the level and beat up Search Man. Ready. Oh, I think this is the same thing. I think there's a part here where you have to time your uh, thunder claws really well. And it almost like makes it seem like Search Man's kind of weak to thunder claw with how often you have to use it here at this level. Okay, so. I 
can't remember. I, I'm almost positive. Yeah, I think it's this part. You have to time your... Yeah. You have to hit it just right. Otherwise, you won't get the ball. It's fine. Again, um, I'll probably do an off-screen session where I go and collect all the bolts I missed just for completion's sake and just so I have more abilities by the time I get to Wily's uh, portion of the game. Which we're not far away from, honestly. Uh, so I can see myself maybe spending... Hmm, I can't really say, but I'd probably say like maybe three, four more parts tops. Because uh, it just depends on how well I do against, I guess, Wily. Because <laughs> he is kind of a pain in the ass to fight. Take on Swordman and then cut it here. Or Swordman, Searchman. I'm sorry, we already fought Swordman. I've got Swordman's ability. Begin mission. Yes, sir. Yeah, he's super easy when you've got Swordman's ability. Super, super easy. Yeah, all those bolts are a pain in the butt. I forgot that you have to do some crazy stuff to get a couple of those. Like, you have to time the Thunderclaw really well. And use the Thunderclaw on the other part. Of Yeah, but I mean it's it's worth it in the end because the upgrade parts are really viable, um, especially when you get to Wily's part because then it just becomes madness. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'll go ahead and wrap this part up here. So thanks for tuning in. In the next part, we'll go ahead and take on Astro Man, and then we'll take on Aquaman, and then we'll be just one step further to uh, to getting along to fighting on Doctor Wily. Uh, Doctor Wily's stage, I think, is a is over the span of four parts and I don't know how well I'm gonna do but I'm gonna try to do it in one sitting and probably record as much as I can if I have to break it up into two parts I might have to do that but anyways guys this has been Daybreaker Rain and I will catch you all in the next one take it easy guys